When we think about the Lord Jesus being the light of the world, that's a wonderful truth. Those who sat in darkness uh, suddenly saw the light of the revelation of God in Christ. But the Lord Jesus, as he was preparing his disciples for his departure, said, you are the light of the world, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. And he said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The things we do on earth, when motivated by the Holy Spirit of God within, and by the transformative life of Christ should look like the Father. We should bear the family resemblance. This is a story about Eric Cameron, a friend of mine, who uh, was diagnosed back in 1984 with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And by the time the story occurs, he was already uh, having to pull himself around on two canes. But Eric had determined that uh, he would walk with the Lord as he had for 40 years and when he couldn't walk anymore he would sit with the Lord and when he couldn't do that anymore then he'd just lie down with the Lord. And Eric wanted to be a bright testimony for Christ all the way through. Had the privilege of leading a psychiatrist to the Lord, a medical doctor to the Lord through this painful process. Well it was when he was 12 years of age over in his native Scotland uh, one Sunday night as he was lying in bed and couldn't sleep thinking about his soul and the fact that he wasn't ready to meet God that Eric quietly called out to his father and spelt out letter by letter I want to be saved and his father came to his bedside and opened the scriptures to him and as a boy of 12 Eric put his trust in the Lord Jesus when I knew him he was robust, he had a tremendous baritone voice, a magnetic smile, full of energy, and always ready to help. Well, on this particular day, it was the winter time in London, Ontario, where his home was, and as he looked out the front window at almost a foot of new fallen snow, he saw a neighbor woman who had got her one wheel caught in, in the ditch. And Eric painfully bundled up against the cold and went out to where the woman was and got himself down in the ditch and using his upper body strength he was able to release the wheel from where it was stuck in the snow. So unbeknownst to these two involved in this minor drama was a third character who happened to be another neighbor looking out the window. His name was Stuart Underhill and Stuart Underhill had a godly brother who's a friend of mine, Marvin Underhill, and Stuart had no time for the gospel. But as he saw this Christian man, a man he knew, his neighbor, to be a Christian, saw the lengths he would go to show the love of Christ, a man who obviously was handicapped but willing to do whatever he could to help his neighbor, the man was softened in his heart. And especially so when uh, Eric's wife Helen showed up at the door a few days later with some fresh baked goods. Stuart Underhill said, I was just amazed when I saw your husband do this. And it just showed me how real his faith is. And she said, would you like me to bring a gospel preacher to talk with you? And he said, I would. And so she brought along a dear brother, Jim Boswell, a local evangelist, and after several visits in the home, both Stuart Underhill and his wife put their trust in the Lord Jesus. And when we think of this and we look at life around us, we realize that um, we all have opportunities like this every day to show a little kindness, a little thoughtfulness, a little graciousness in awkward situations when the waitress maybe isn't quite fast enough or someone makes a mistake uh, working on our car, instead of showing what we're like, we have the opportunity of reflecting the light of heaven, like the moon reflecting the light of the sun into this dark world. It's not our light, it's the, the light of Christ's own glory manifested through our lives. Now, may the story of Eric be an encouragement to you, this story, along with many others, can be found in the Uplook website if you uh, search 
Eric's Secret, you'll find the story printed there. And by the way, if you look a little harder for Fred Cameron, uh, you'll find an amazing story about his father Fred and a visit he had in the hospital and all the opportunities that he had. And the punchline is actually tied in with this story. I'll leave you to find it. So God bless you, encourage you as you go out into the day to say, Lord, help me to be a light in this dark world for you.